on the works of your hands. You will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload. I pray for you. Anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice. For you to go down in ministry, in business. I pray they will not only be disappointed, they will be the victims of their plot. Oh, may the curse of Haman come upon them. That the pit they dug for you, they fall into it. Doors of strategic relationships, be open. Doors of strategic finances, be open. The treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places, be open. Doors of career, be open. Doors of destiny help us, be open. In the name of Jesus, someone shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Listen to me. Please don't be distracted. Something is happening in this place. Look at me. Every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit. Just because you are there does not mean the gates are open. Now you see, if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north, you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states, you will see like city gates. Am I right on that? Sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in Abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors, Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. 
all the rooms in a house are separated by doors just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house you can be in the living room but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed and if it does not open when you are hungry you will be in the house and be dying of hunger the door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open it brings discomfort hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now whilst you are seated whilst you are seated whilst you are seated I want to make a declaration this is not just for individuals all these people are representing families I'm seeing in the spirit families tied down by chains doors that have closed over them this is what God is revealing to me I want to bring them out every family here not just you are individuals but you are representing families no one has been able to go forward there is an embargo that has sat upon families in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon El Shaddai I call upon the warrior once you are seated anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost let it descend upon that family now let it descend upon that family now descend upon that family now descend upon that family now bring them out descend upon that family now in the name of Jesus descend upon that family now my God in the name of Jesus he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder tied by witchcraft tied by ancestry tied by bloodline in the name that is above all names I say it again be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now you and your family be delivered now me the Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward I prophesy to you go forward now 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 Alenda kapara sateke balako sabash rabada kapara kosiata go forward go forward in ministry Go forward in ministry anointed but under closed heavens go forward i release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now hallelujah listen 
Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open for you and everyone connected to you. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Genesis 21 verse 6. This is someone's prophetic word. I'm praying now. 21 verse 6. Genesis. Genesis 21 verse 6. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. I decree and declare, let this be a season of laughter for you. Let this be a season of laughter for you. In the name of Jesus, laughter in the morning, laughter in the afternoon, laughter in the evening, laughter in the night. In the name of Jesus, you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up. In the name of Jesus. And that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded. Anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season, I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. In the name of Jesus. When Nehemiah began to build the temple, the wall of Jerusalem, the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project. One, Sambalat. Two, Tobias. I pray for you. Anyone spying on your progress, and walking with men and spirits to see that you don't advance, to see that the promotion does not come, to see that the rest does not come. I decree and declare, they are banished from your life forever. Banished from your life forever. You see, let me tell you, there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men. When you hear their names, they speak of spirits. Absalom, Sambalat, Tobias, are we together? You hear of all these names. These are not names Haman. You see that now. These are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them. Absalom, for instance, this guy began to gain popularity over a, a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor, the, the, the advisor of David. Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them 
for the safety of your kingdom may God expose them in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah even though it later worked out for a redemption but when that that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod one of them wanting to crucify Jesus the wife got up and said I had a dream this man is innocent don't touch him even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation but let me pray for you any wrong step you are about to make whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny destroying mistakes I pray may God bring them speedily may they come before the damage happens I say it again may they arrive before any damage happens in the name of Jesus help will never come too late for you help will never come too late for you now I pray for you the kind of honor you have not seen from January till now May if you have the faith to believe it I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you in this month of July beginning may God surprise you kings will honor you nobles will honor you captains of industry will honor you the great will call you great in the name of Jesus Christ three more prayers and we're done three more prayers and we're done three more prayers and we're done I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again this night as you go to sleep dreams that you've not had before visions of things you've not seen before in the name of Jesus the blueprint the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life may it be downloaded to your spirit man downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of Jesus Do you believe what you're receiving? Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life. Any journey you would take that will not allow you to return home, I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment we release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ you are preserved from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday I declare none shall come to your dwelling my final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life that means your prayer life that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you. By all means, be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be. As transformed as you should be. Men and women of character by the Spirit. Doing exploits for the kingdom. Everything that represents slumber, spiritual laziness, laxity, death of your prayer life, your communion with God, I declare be delivered from it now. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. We bless you, O oh God. We give you praise. We honor you. Thank you for your good hand. In the name of Jesus Christ.
miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame. Finally, in the name of Jesus Christ, raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope you know that the garment shame and despair can be worn like a garment. Is it in your Bible? That a man can wear it the same way I cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you are wearing traditionals. No. A man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it. Walk with it to your place of work. Walk with it to... And several people who should help you just ignore you. You don't know what they are seeing. They don't know what they are seeing. But the results of rejection is clear. Can I tell you? Psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint. To be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system. You are not needed within your workplace. That is, that is where people try to pretend so that they belong. But there's something God can place on your head. That when he places it on your head, even from the prison, the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon. I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen, let me say this one last, one last end and then we'll pray. Always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical men even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in Gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power lift your voice in one minute everywhere whether you are outside whether you are inside all the overflows go ahead and begin to pray indeed it is my night God is giving me a story this disease this infirmity is living finally someone pray this embargo of shame and reproach backwardness retrogression is giving way in the name of jesus take a minute to release your faith it's time for gates to be open it's time for doors to be open time for new chapters to be open Make sure you are praying, engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit 
that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray go ahead and pray my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men lifter of men i will hold on through the storm and i will hold on to your world my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men the lifter Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the Caribbean and Zambia in the Caribbean, one more time. The light of the When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step per day, one step per moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But 
the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed but there is absolutely nothing to write home about as i pray for the sick i'm going to pray for those people i want you to bring them out because the power of god is coming on those people and on those families i want to pray as soon as that song was raised that's what the lord began to minister to me in my heart and then i'll pray for the sick we'll take testimonies now ah there is a light that is coming here tonight in the name of jesus everyone parole skadibada please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment 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 my goodness fire is falling in this place be delivered this moment in the I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the spirit of the living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases Salika Parako Sadebalende Gebos Chakras Kadebala Sudyash there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that God is bringing to you right now everything that is not of God lay your hands I want to pray for the sick now help that man I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again this night as you go to sleep dreams that you've not had before visions of things you've not seen before in the name of Jesus the blueprint the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life may it be downloaded to your spirit man downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of Jesus Do you believe what you're receiving? Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life any journey you would take 
that will not allow you to return home. I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home. Huh? Anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life. May God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling. My final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life. That means your prayer life. That means your word study life. That means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you. By all means, be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be. As transformed as you should be. Men and women of character by the Spirit. Doing exploits for the kingdom. Everything that represents slumber, spiritual laziness, laxity, death of your prayer life, your communion with God, I declare be delivered from it now. I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God abundantly bless you.